experience, Maddie D of In the Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, physical well-being, and also your life coach, helping you heal your childhood wounds from your parents. So, today's video, a little uh, from the core message, but again, you know, everything I do relates to your beginning, your parents, your foundation, they're the ones who, you know, set you up for life when it comes to beliefs about yourself, your emotional health, your physical well-being, um, you know, money, all that stuff. And uh, today's video is going to be about pre is, is about drugs, prescription drugs. And so, if you're one of the millions, millions of Americans who are taking prescription drugs, this video is for you. And if you're taking drugs because of your parents, or whatever, you know, regardless of what it is, like I always say, you know, I always, I always talk about and when, whenever I start a video about helping you achieve, you know, you know, physical well-being physical well-being, you know, and that goes, there's more of that. There's your mental, or your, your emotional, or social, but physical well-being is your health. You're exercising, what you're eating, what you're consuming, and prescription drugs fall right into the category of your physical well-being. And if you've watched any documentaries, there's one, there's a couple, there's a bunch of them on Netflix. I can't, I can't think of the names of what they are, but just, just, this is, you just go on YouTube itself, or Google and type in like, you know, the dangers of prescription drugs or, you know, addiction to prescription drugs. And I bring this up because I was watching a video from uh, a channel that I follow called The Minority Mindset and talked about the the mindset of El Chapo and how this guy became like the biggest drug cartel, I think one of the biggest in history, if not the biggest, and had so much money, he actually had to burn two million of it because he couldn't put it in a bank, you know? And at the end of the video, at, at the end of the video, the guy was like, "Yeah, like, don't you wish you could, like, you know, make money with drugs like that, you know, in, in a legal way?" And, and and then he went, "You can." And he talked about Pfizer. I forget like specifically what he said, but basically, he was saying like, "Yeah, that's what Pfizer and all these big drug companies do, that's what they're doing. They just legalize it for them, and they bar it anywhere anywhere else to do it to make it legal." Drug companies make, at the very least, like billions upon billions of dollars. The pharmaceutical industry is like, I think, a trillion dollar industry. At the very least, I'm willing to bet. And you would think that they have your best interest at heart. They don't. Because if you look at the medical industry, specifically the, you know, I don't know, say specifically, but the pharmaceutical industry they're not in the business of curing disease mental you know mental disease um, diseases of the body you know like uh, diabetes all that stuff they're all in the business of treating it so you can function and have a normal life but live with this abnormality which isn't normal which isn't healthy it's not supposed to be there but they give you this drug over and over and over again because you need it and you'll pay for it because you want to live so you literally become a Walking, residual, breathing, acting, hopes, dreams, wishes, ambitions, paycheck to them. Here's the thing. Now, if they were to look into cures for these diseases that they say have no cures for, but you can live with them, which I think is hard to believe, you know, it wouldn't make sense that they want to help you and cure these things. They don't want to do that because they make so much money treating disease and keeping them around because if you cure a disease it goes away guess what you have no money there's no profit for you but i think that's false thinking because if you were to cure diseases you could still make the amount of money if not more and help people out in other ways there's you don't have to keep a disease going to like profit it's a sick-minded thinking so pres prescription drugs are dangerous they're not healthy for you they're designed to and i got this from a book Oh, where is it? Urgh. Let me get it real quick. Natural Cures That They Don't Want You to Know About it was by Kevin Trudeau. Great book. Haven't finished it. There's a lot of great information on there. It talks about all sorts of diseases from like lupus, uh, HIV, herpes, um, multiple sclerosis, everything. Like everything. You're like, wow. So what prescription drugs are designed to do is cover up the symptoms of whatever you're saying, whatever, wherever you got. And not designed to attack the root cause. So, if you went the root cause, you would cure it. Okay, that's number two. And number three, what's jacked up is that they're designed to cause all their fucked up shit with your body, so that you can take another drug and they, they need to be for. And that drug is going to help with is going to help with the symptoms of the other other drug you want. But then the second drug you want is going to fuck you up in ways, and they're going to use that 
to to prescribe another drug and the cycle repeats itself. It's sick. If you look at a documentary or watch the argument, What the Health, you will see that there are people um, who had uh, who were on like five different medications, 15 different medications, something like that, something ridiculous. And they were just so unhealthy. And they're taking these drugs to function. But what they did was they switched their diet to a plant-based diet and vegan. And the majority of them got off all the drugs they were taking. And were healthy and happy. And like, woo, I'm back to normal. Like, normal. It's not healthy. And I bet you've seen this. You've seen one person who, who has five different pills, all these drugs they take. And you look at them and you're like... You're not healthy. This isn't right. Like, it's not good. And you can see that. And, um, you know, p- people who work in the medical industry, like, they see this shit. People become addicted to these, like, Oxycontin, and all these things. They abuse it. It's all part of the system to keep, to keep you in, to keep you as a slave, to keep you addicted, to keep you unhealthy so that you have more problems if you have to treat with more drugs. It's just a vicious cycle. And people don't seem to understand that. Well, I think the other, people, the other thing that people don't want to accept, believe, they want to believe, truly, and we all do, and I did too, we all want to believe that the medical industry is there to help and truly wants to help and live, live a normal life. They don't want to believe that the medical industry doesn't care about them and just wants them to become addicted to drugs, never heal, never never be cured, and only, only make money off them. It's true. Like, it, Here's the thing. With certain diseases, it's like, they, 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 they have medicine that can suppress it so that you can live with it, but they don't have to cure it. And so for me, I kind of feel like you can't have one without the other. It's like, ugh, what's a good example? It's like, okay, it's like this. It's like you have a disease, there's no known cure, and if you don't take anything, obviously you'll die from it, right? But here's a medicine, a drug, that'll suppress it and stop it so you can live a healthy life, you live a disease, but as soon as you, but as soon as you stop taking medicine, it's gonna progress, you'll die. So we froze it from here. So let's let's look at this on the spectrum. No disease, you're cured, you're healthy. You had disease and you die. The middle part is you've taken the medicine so you can live, so it stops it in its tracks, so it can't progress any farther. Okay. But we don't have a cure for it, but we know how to stop it. Interesting, right? So it's kind of like saying, hey, we made a car. Here's a car, and we know how to make the car go 50 miles an hour max, but we have no idea how to make the car go 100 miles an hour. It's like, if you want to make it go 50 miles an hour, and you can easily double it to make it go faster 100 miles an hour. It's like, you can't have one without the other. It's like, it's like if you've made a plane that can fly, you figure that part out, then you want to make it go faster. Again, this is my opinion my belief it's like you you don't have a cure for a disease but you know how to stop it if you know how to stop it you obviously want to get rid of it you're just bullshitting yourself and the public that oh we don't want to to cure but we can stop it if you disagree with me on that gladly comment below if you agree with me on that you want you want even more resources comment below but taking drugs prescribed to you is not healthy over the long term. You want to get off them. You want to get on some alternative methods. Um, you know, there's lots of ways you can look stuff up. Google Health Way, Organic Food. Read the book. Um, Natural Cures that they don't want that they don't want you to know about. It's simply educating yourself on what's out there, what's around you that you can use that's actually good for your body and good for the environment. Because nature intended us to eat certain things. And unfortunately, people in power want us to die, basically. It's sad. So, pre- prescription drugs are not, they're addicting, they're not healthy, they don't help you in the long run, they just fuck you up. I've seen it, talk to people who are on drugs. Why do you think people who, you know, who may be bi- bipolar or some, some, some things, they'll take the medicine, but they don't like taking it. It's like, it's like yeah, it helps, but it, it gives me issues that I can't do, so they don't take it. Like, plus, last thought, if there is, here's the thing, if you, if you watch TV enough, you'll see these drug commercials come on and says, oh, get Clarabax, it'll help you with this, 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 and it seems so perfect, but at the end, but at the end of all these commercials, they always say, when we take this drug, you know, you may risk heart disease, you may, you may die, you may have this, 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 they list like 20 different issues 
possible side effects, negative side effects will happen if you take this one drug that's supposed to solve one problem. Does that make sense to you? If you are unhealthy, you have a disease, and the doctor pres prescribes you something, shouldn't that cure it and help you get better? They, it, it shouldn't come with, by the way, if you take this, you could die, you have a limp day, you won't be sex, like all this dumb shit. Like, people don't think about that. Like, why am I, why is it, as, I, as I'm trying to get healthy, I can get worse? Does that make sense? It shouldn't be like that. It's not the way it works. No. But hey, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a lawyer, or anything else. Just things that I've learned, observed, and go, hmm, well, that makes sense. That doesn't make sense either, too. But whatever. Anyways, hope you all like this video. Like, comment below where you agree with me, disagree with me. Please comment. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. And um, please subscribe. And hey, share if you got some time from this. Love y'all. Get into black. Be healthy. Stay healthy. Eat right. Grow your mind. Expand your awareness. Peace.